Hello, and welcome to another episode of Neighborhood News. Uh, today, we are lucky enough to have our president and CEO of Neighborhood Alliance, Alicia Foss, with us. Hi, Alicia. Hi. Perfect. Well, we're actually going to jump right into questions. Um, so this is all about the future of senior services is what our topic is going to be today. So Alicia, share with us, how has COVID-19 impacted senior enrichment services? Sure. Um, so COVID-19 has had a pretty significant um, impact on all of our service, but in, in particular on senior enrichment. Um, you know, we have two areas of senior enrichment services that we mainly focus on, and that's our home delivered meals program. And then there's the supportive services and the socialization side of it as well. Uh, for senior nutrition, I think the, the biggest impact is in how our services are being delivered to our participants, uh, where before it was more of a um, in person, you know, we could talk to them and really spend some time with them um, and have that socialization aspect at the front door as we're delivering the meal. Uh, it's a little bit less of that now, um, and we're trying to do this as contact-free as possible, of course. Um, so our delivery drivers are uh, going to the door and, you know, knocking on the door. They have to see the participant in order to leave the meal, but there's not as much of that social interaction. The social interaction for senior enrichment actually comes in the form of a wellness check. And so in addition to delivering the meals, our uh, senior enrichment employees are calling the seniors and checking in on them to make sure that they're doing okay. Um, just sort of doing that wellness check as a phone call instead of in person, and then talking with them about what do they need? Is there anything that they're not getting that they need? Essential supplies, uh, additional food, anything like that that we can drop off and then we can bring those items to them and deliver them along with their meal later in the week. Um, so that's one of the things that we've really changed uh, just to try to fill in some of those gaps for the seniors um, as they're you know, being encouraged to stay home and to not be out in public as much. Then in addition to that, um, you know, we also, with the socialization side of it, um, and our, our senior center that um, was out in Oberlin, um, you know, that's been closed since the beginning of the pandemic. And, um, you know, we did some interesting things right at the beginning of the pandemic with our senior enrichment services in closing uh, the senior center. We actually closed that before the mandate came down for the safety of our seniors. Uh, and then we um, also had our senior nutrition drivers begin wearing masks before the mask mandate was even there. Um, just, you know, you know, trying to look out for the best interest of our seniors and to keep them as safe as possible given the circumstances. So those are some of the things that have changed for us um, during COVID-19. Excellent. And uh, so, I mean, you touched a little bit on this. Um, what is the current status of the socialization services provided by Neighborhood Alliance? Sure. Um, so the wellness checks really have become our form of socialization with our seniors during this time. Just like everything else has sort of gone virtual, um, you know, we really felt that there was a need to still stay connected to the seniors during uh, the pandemic and to make sure that they had what they needed, um, especially you know, as things were starting to evolve and, and the numbers were increasing and we were seeing, you know, more people staying home and more businesses being closed. Um, that was something that we felt was really important. So the wellness checks have become a big part of what we do. Uh, sometimes it's it's more than just a hi, how you doing? You know, sometimes people need to have a little bit more of a conversation and um, they need that human inter interaction and that contact. And so we do provide that for them. In the early part of the pandemic, we were able to do some social distanced events um, with our seniors, which was really nice and they seem to really enjoy that. That sort of dropped off as the weather got bad in the fall um, and we had to kind of stop doing that as outdoor um, you know, venues weren't appropriate with the winter weather. Um, so that's one of the things that we're sort of looking forward to maybe doing a little bit more of in the near future. Um, you know, Obviously with the mandates that are in place, um, one of the things that we do face with uh, the senior center population is that senior centers um, are required to do additional testing for COVID-19 um, every two weeks. And that's not something that we're able to do. So our senior center does remain closed and will remain closed. Um, one of the things that we are looking forward to though with, with the socialization side of it is being able to begin planning different events and things that can take place that don't involve the physical location. Um, and so I think that that'll be important as we get into the future. Um, and uh, you know, working on continuing the food pantry and uh, opening that up, doing some delivery of food pantry shelf stable type items um, to our seniors as well. So those are all things that we're doing currently um, and that we're working on. 
Okay, and um, so going forward uh, with Senior Socialization Services and Neighborhood Alliance, um, how do you, how, how, what's the plan? What do, what, do you, what do you plan on doing next? I know you got some ideas. Of course, um, <laughs> we have lots of ideas and we're exploring a lot of different options, but I think the big change that's gonna, um, gonna be taking place and it's already started the transition is that we're gonna be bringing all of our senior enrichment services under the umbrella of senior enrichment services where before it was sort of separated out into, you know, we've got the Oberlin Senior Center and then we've got senior nutrition. The, the two programs are sort of merging um, and, and falling under that umbrella of senior enrichment services. And the, the goal of this is to be able to provide more services in more locations. And so we have some uh, college students that we've engaged that are helping us research, what are some of the options? What are the needs of the seniors? How have the needs changed due to the pandemic? Uh, and what's gonna be you know, the, the needs that they have in the future and going forward and how can those needs be met in the community? And then what is our our role in that and how do we best serve the biggest number of people um, with the best possible services that we can provide and obviously senior nutrition is a big part of that and making sure that people get food and essential supplies uh, but the socialization and the wellness checks are also very important so we're looking at all of those things and how we can continue to offer great services going forward um, with some new guidelines and some new things in place that maybe open up more possibilities for us to reach a greater number of people throughout the county. Excellent. And then we always end these um, these videos with how can people help? So if you could share um, some ideas on how, how our supporters and viewers could help. Sure. So I, you know, I think uh, the best thing that you can do if you want more information on the services that we offer for our seniors is to go to our website. There's a lot of great information there, a lot of links to connect you to different um, different areas of our organization and our programming. Um, you can also find out about how to sign someone up for home delivered meals um, on our website and then also get involved if you wanna volunteer. Um, right now, things are a little bit different with the pandemic with the volunteering, but um, we expect things to open up relatively soon. Um, and so we're looking forward to that and looking forward to having volunteers back um, in our programs and helping us. So all of those things can be learned about on our website and uh, for additional information, they can also follow us on Facebook and um, see more of these great interviews with our team. Awesome. Thank you so much, Alicia. This has been great talking with you this morning. Um, again, supporters, volunteers, um, if you would like to find out more information, our website is www.myneighborhoodalliance.org. It'll also be linked in the bio. And um, if you have any other questions, definitely follow us on Facebook, Twitter. Um, there's more of these videos on YouTube. Um, we're all over the place. So thank you. Bye, Alicia. Thanks. Bye.